Hi everyone, I have got another plan with me week to go in my Erin Condren, my horizontal planner. This is going to be for the week of Memorial Day and I am going to be using this beautiful kit from Sticker Bloom. It's got all these nice foils, it's strawberries and just screaming summertime. I hope that you stick around and join me. Alrighty, so I am back with the finished spread and this is not the spread at all that I had thought about doing uh, for Memorial Day of course you know I'm a couple of weeks behind anyway but um, it, I wanted to do all this this week about the riots and the protests that went on in Minneapolis started in Minneapolis and then kind of went worldwide I wanted to have a little bit of mix of the COVID-19 and then I wanted to have you know a tribute to George Floyd and everything um, you know that it's symbolized with the racism that still going on in this country but and the, the riots and you know the protesters um, you know were, were fine it was I don't know what happened after I was once the the lights went out or whatever and the fires and the violence started so I did want to do, have something like that but then it was just such a rough week um, for me um, not really being able to concentrate and coming home and wanting to work on YouTube and still not being able to concentrate and just listening to the helicopters all night long and the sirens and so then I thought no sorry then I ripped up all those pictures and I said I need to move on so this is moving on so anyway this is again it was this kit from sticker bloom and she's got foiling here that's it's got silver and gold it's kind of like a hollow foil so sometimes when you tilt it you see the gold and sometimes you see the silver but it, it is really really pretty it's a nice summer theme so let's get on to this so i also this uh, week i just pulled a full few pictures of uh, Sabrina and the Jelly Beans and every Memorial Day uh, she gets to go to a uh, Cape Cod she goes to uh, the Bourne the National Cemetery and she goes and she sits by my my dad's grave so her grandpa's grave and the Jelly Beans go and they get to she gets to tell them a little bit about their great grampy and um, I don't know they just it's just it's a, just such a nice tradition Sabrina she's just into traditions and and that's one of the reasons I, I just love about her and how she's raising um, their kids her her and Mike are just raising them with some really nice traditions and respect so anyway Monday we didn't have work for Memorial Day so I've got my big coffee cup over here 
Um, I worked on my plan with me, so I got that filmed and I got that edited. I worked on YouTube for about four hours. I washed uh, my lights and I washed my sheets. And this one again, it's the jelly beans at the Bourne National Cemetery for the veterans. Um, on to Tuesday. So this is uh, really the night, this is the day that George Floyd had been murdered. And this is actually the night that the uh, riots and everything had started. So this is kind of like the week went down. So I came home and I uploaded my plan with me. I made the mistake of then trying to get on YouTube, but then I just happened to catch the news. And so YouTube was kind of went out the window and I was just watching TV. I did go ahead and I uh, do my Color Street nails. So They've been on quite a while. It's really time for me to change them, as you can see. On to Wednesday. So Wednesday, it was I, I went to work and I came home and that's all I did was uh, watch the riots and the protesting on TV, you know, not only from Minneapolis, but from all over where it was really starting to spread. I put that little coffee cup there because it was it was a night of coffee and not sleeping, listening to the helicopters and the sirens all night long. And I'm about 30, 30, 35 minutes away, so I'm, I'm not right in the heart of the city, but I think every town around me was headed to the city to try to do what they could do to help. So anyway, on to Thursday. So because Wednesday was a, a Monday was the holiday, my trash got moved to Thursday. So I've got my, my little trash girl. It was trash and recycle. Um, when I got home from work, I just didn't feel like coming home and making something help, healthy, so... What did I do? I made a bad, bad choice. I went to McDonald's. I got a Big Mac. I got large French fries and an extra large coffee. So yeah, I was up all night. Um, but I did have happy mail when I came home. I got the uh, some tops that I had ordered from Ever Eve, so they were in. And again, that's uh, the jelly beans at the cemetery. And it was a few years ago when um, another volunteers go out and they put those flags out on every stone. And it's just so nice and uh, so Tori Pye and Aiden are actually saluting the veterans. It's just nice that they're growing up and Sabrina's teaching them all that respect. So I'm really, really proud, proud of her. So here it is, Frye. So I got my Frye girl uh, for work. I had to make sure I got a Castro order in. We had a Star Machine, a CNC machine coming in for the uh, showroom floor. So I wanted to make sure I was there for delivery of that. Um, I came home, I had a Stitch Fix top um, that I had ordered from the uh, Shop You Looks, and I also won the uh, Everlasting Necklace from Belinda Condi uh, from my Touchstone Crystal, so um, so that was made it a really fun, good day. I worked on YouTube for about an hour, and other than that, I was back on the TV watching the news. And of course, this is another picture of Sabrina and the Jelly Beans at the Bourne National Cemetery and on to the weekend. I didn't go to work on Saturday so I've got my big coffee cup girl over here enjoying the coffee. I'm excited we had a couple of hot days this week so I thought it was time to take off my thick thick warm cozy blanket sheets uh, get them washed again and I put in uh, put on my summer sheets so they're nice and cool but I really miss my cozy cozy warm blanket sheets. Um, I had margaritas by the campfire, and other than that, I, I took my uh, laptop out, and I was just kind of watching the uh, riots and protests on TV while I sat around the fire and listened to the sirens. On to Sunday. So again, just a, not a good concentrating day, so I've got my coffee cup girl over here. I decided to go into work anyway since I just wasn't very productive around the house, so I went to work about 10, um, and I came and worked about 2 o'clock. I worked on YouTube for about two hours, but that was it. I was uh, back on the TV watching the news. And of course, it's a more recent one. This is actually from this year of Sabrina and the Jelly Beans. I wish it would focus better. So there, and you can see there's a few flags out, but um, you know, they didn't have the volunteers, of course, because of the COVID-19. So there wasn't uh, flags on every uh, stone like they usually is and like the guest services and things like that weren't open so if you needed help finding someone you were you were on your own so anyway I got this little uh, picture here just for Memorial Day so to remember and honor I started the week at 110 and I finished the week at 109.6 I didn't do any exercising this week other than the four days yeah four days on the elliptical and just uh, the Fitbit I didn't 
work on my Pilates. I didn't do the treadmill. And because um, I didn't work really before three days, um, didn't have a lot of electrical time. But I did manage to get in 76,598 steps. I had pedaled for 19.95 hours and uh, 30.63 miles. My Fitbit steps were 46,156. So again, this is my finished week. It's not exactly how I planned it to, to be, but I'm still happy with the way it came out. I've still got some good memories here. You know, I've got the uh, the jelly beans and Sabrina and the cemetery um, where, you know, I'm eventually going to be someday. So um, not that I really want to think about that yet. But anyway, and I did get some happy mail. I had Ever Eve. I won the uh, that everlasting necklace, which I, I really, really love. So I guess I do have to kind of take the good with the bad. That's not really the good way to say that, but um, anyway, and it's just just such a such a strange time, and um, you know I I think of the newscasters when you know we were young and we had Walter Car Cronkite and some of the others, and um, you didn't get their opinions. You got you got honest. You got honesty, you, integrity. You had the news, and today everything is just sensationalized, and the reporters. Um, it's their opinions it's not necessarily the news or what happened it's their opinions and it's just hard to believe anymore what's what's true what's fake news and yet you know and that's part of just um i guess the times we're in that everybody's got an opinion and you know sometimes you just kind of wish for the old days and just a straight honest newscast with a reporter that you can trust what they're saying instead of you know the news being you know sensationalized and made for ratings and certain stories get picked and certain stories don't and i don't know it's it was a, a really sad week um not not for me but for oh my gosh so many people that this this involved and you know the families um of everyone that was injured and the families that lost everything from the fires and the protest i mean you know, they went after the small mom and pop shops to put them out of business, which they probably won't be able to ever rebuild again. Um, you know, the, uh, I don't know, the uh, family of George Floyd, I mean, his, you know, extended family here and his family back in Texas, what they must be going through. And, um, you know, for the offices involved, you know, what are their families, you know, how are they coping with this? And, what's happening now with the police departments where they're actually you know like being attacked um and you know five or six people just ganging up on them from behind so it's it's just a really a really strange time we're going through it would be nice to say and i hate to say this but it would be nice if this was the one that was the straw that broke the camel back and racism was gone forever and police brutality was gone and people were respectful and you know, I don't know if that's going to happen in my lifetime, but, you know, it's something to strive for. It's something to hope for. It's something we need to, you know, teach our kids to be respectful and, you know, and go from there, I guess. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble, so I just wanted to thank everyone for joining me. Um, I'd love to hear your comments and your suggestions, and I hope that in spite of everything that I just said, you know, that everybody goes out has a fantastic week. A lot of the businesses are opening up. So just remember to stay safe, keep your distance, but go out, have fun. We all have lives to live. Let's, let's start doing it. Okay. We'll chat again soon, everybody. Bye-bye.